In school cafeterias across Colorado, there's a controlled type of chaos. Okay, you're good to go. As one by one, little bellies come to fill up before little minds go to work in the classroom. During the pandemic, food insecurity was high for families, so the federal government offered programs to pay for free meals for students. But over the summer, that program ended. Now a ballot question is asking voters whether they want to make free school meals permanent. Proposition FF asks voters if they want the state to create a program to pay for free meals for all public school students starting next year. The program would be funded in two ways, increased federal funding through reimbursements and limiting the amount of charitable deductions those making $300,000 or more could write off on their taxes. Those write-offs would be capped at $12,000 for individuals and $16,000 for joint filers. The change is expected to bring in $100 million each year to pay for the meals. In this Denver 7 election, 360, you'll hear from a student who relied on these meals, a cafeteria worker who says this will help employees, and a former teacher who thinks this is a bad idea. First, some context. A report by the Education Data Initiative found that 336,000 kids qualify for free and reduced meals in Colorado. Another 35,000 kids in the state are food insecure, but their families make too much to qualify for federal help. Their average lunch debt is $170 per child. As a whole, Colorado has $6 million dollars in school lunch debt. When I was in middle school, my father unfortunately lost his job. Daniel Sharinsky knows what it's like to need a free meal. Sometimes those meals didn't exactly fill me up and weren't exactly nutritious. And sometimes I I occasionally just wouldn't get lunch because of that embarrassment. Not eating made it harder for him to concentrate in class. He says this proposition will take away the shame for students. A lot of working class families right now have a lot of other expenses that they need to take care of. On the other side of that buffet line. I see a lot of kids come to school and rely on our food to eat. Xander Kashup, the kitchen manager at Swanson Elementary. He's seen student after student come in who can't afford the food. It's heartbreaking. If I ever have to turn a kid away because they can't afford to eat, I take that home with me. It's terrible. Along with free meals, starting in 2024, the program would also provide grants for districts to buy fresh food from local farmers and update kitchen equipment to cook it. Right now, our menus are uh, they are full of highly processed, pre-cooked food, canned vegetables and fruits. We can do better for our kids. It would also pay kitchen staff more as many districts face shortages, so he supports it. So at fourth and sixth grade, we had a majority of our kids were lower income. So former teacher Michael Fields knows how important food security is for students. We want to make sure that kids who need lunch have it. But he doesn't support this ballot question. Fields says there are already state and federal programs to help the students in need that will stay in place regardless of whether Proposition FF passes. But his big question. Should we be paying for lunches for families that can afford it? He thinks it's unfair to have 5% of taxpayers fund the meals for everyone's kids and he worries about the effects this will have on charities. I think a lot of people do give based on the tax incentives or we wouldn't have those out there to start with. Is it more important for my kid to have a free lunch or is it more important for money to go to uh, maybe a organization that's helping homeless people or people on drugs or other kinds of, of charities? He supports moving to healthier meals. He just doesn't think this is the way to do it. In school cafeterias across Colorado, lunchtime is the best time, a chance to make friends and make memories. But for some students, it's a source of stress. Proposition FF would make it so that students don't have to worry about being able to afford meals. But voters will decide whether this idea is the right one for the state. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.